When the last Mirage 2000C of the French Air Force's 2nd, 5th Fighter Squadron, with its mission accomplished, commemorative livery, is officially retired from service in March 2025, outsiders can't help but wonder why this aircraft, which is rated by the US-based Military Observer magazine as the worst fourth-generation fighter aircraft with the worst aerial capability in service, has remained in service for 38 years. How did this model, rated by Military Observer magazine as the least capable fourth-generation fighter aircraft in service, managed to remain in service with the French Air Force for 38 years. Was it a conservative choice on the part of the French military industry? Or was there a deeper technical and strategic dilemma? The answer may be hidden in the legendary and tragic fate of this aircraft. It was the pride of Europe's air defense, but in the wave of technological revolution, has been reduced to a living target, and ultimately become a victim of the conflict between the great powers and national defense autonomy. The story of Mirage 2000C began in the European sky in the 1970s. At that time, France's Dassault Aviation, in order to counter the monopoly of the US and the Soviet Union, boldly adopted a tailless delta wing layout and fly-by-wire control system to create this all-European, fourth-generation aircraft. And when it entered service in 1983, it's a D at Pulse Doppler radar, combined with the Super 530D semi-active radar missile, which was the most effective way to control the Mirage 2000C. The combination of the RD at Pulse Doppler radar and the Super 530D semi-active radar missile amazed NATO allies. The Mirage 2000C's Mach 2.2 high-speed interception of a Soviet 222M bomber during the 1986 Libyan airstrike once graced the covers of military magazines around the world. However, this honor was short-lived. When the US F-16 Block 50 was fitted with a PG-68 radar and the Soviet MiG-29S was upgraded with an 019 impulse Doppler radar, the Mirage 2000C's radar detection range remained at 110 km and its anti-jamming capability stayed at the Cold War level. More fatal is that its core power M53 engine thrust-to-weight ratio of only 6.5, resulting in the whole aircraft thrust-to-weight ratio is even lower than the Pakistan Air Force equipped with the Dragon Block 2 in close combat. Even the third generation of aircraft are difficult to counteract. France was not unaware of the crisis, and in the 1990s Dassault Aviation launched the Mirage 2005 upgrade program in an attempt to regain its momentum by combining the RDY radar with the Mika missile. But the program was severely curtailed by austerity measures. The ESA radar was downgraded to a mechanically scanned radar. The electronic warfare system was only partially updated with a jamming pod and engine improvements were shelved. Ironically, in a simulated confrontation between the Greek Air Force's Mirage 2005 and a Turkish F-16C Block 50 in 2008, the former was crushed in an over-the-horizon engagement. The Mika, the 50-kilometer range of the Mika missile, was no match for the 105-kilometer range of the AIM-120C5, and the radar warning system did not even catch the enemy's lock on signal in time. This technological disconnect reached its peak in 2015, when the French Air Force was involved in the fight against the Islamic State. The Mirage 2000C was reduced to an airborne bomb truck because it lacked a laser targeting pod and had to rely on Rafale fighters to guide it to its target. The Mirage 2000C was reduced to an aerial bomb truck because it lacked a laser targeting pod. Behind the technological stagnation is a strategic contradiction that is difficult to reconcile with the French military industrial system. In order to maintain its defense autonomy, Dassault insists on using the domestically produced M53 engine, even though its thrust is 23% lower than that of the F-16's F110 engine at the same time. The engine's inherently flawed compressor design resulted in a maximum military thrust of 21,400 pounds and high fuel consumption. The Mirage 2000C's combat radius was only 700 km, less than the F-16C's 920 km. What's more, the M53's potential for improvement was drained as early as the 1990s, while Pratt and Whitney developed the F110G132 for the F-16 with a thrust-to-weight ratio of 8.5. The French were able to reduce weight by 5% to bring the M53P2. S thrust to weight ratio down to 6.8, 
This snail in a shell dilemma directly locked them in. The mirage's upgrade ability was directly limited by the inability of the fuselage structure to support a larger radar, the lack of power supply for the avionics system, and the need to install additional power modules even for mounting meteor missiles. The imbalance in the distribution of military spending has pushed the Mirage 2000C into the abyss. In 2010, the French Air Force proposed to replace the RBE-2AA radar for the Mirage 2000C, but was forced to give up because the cost of modifying a single aircraft was as high as 18 million euros. Give up. In sharp contrast, the US Air Force for the same period, for the F-16C, the upgrade a PG-83 radar cost of only $7 million per aircraft. This, both face in the inside of the tangle and ultimately let the Mirage 2000C become a half-assed project 2016. France announced the completion of the last batch of in 2016. France announced that it had completed the modernization of the last batch of Mirage 2000Cs, but pilots found that the newly installed tactical data links were not compatible with the NATO coalition system, so they had to continue to rely on voice communications to coordinate air combat. The Mirage's aura was tarnished by the collapse of the export market. Although Dassault sold more than 600 Mirage 2000s to eight countries under a political bundling strategy, the shortcomings of the Mirage 2000s price performance ratio were exposed in the post Cold War era. Taiwan purchased 60 Mirage 2005 as for $3.8 billion in 1992, but with maintenance costs of up to $50,000 per flight hour. Seven of these aircraft crashed in the next 20 years, causing Taiwan's Air Force to consider early retirement, leading the Taiwanese Air Force to consider early retirement at one point. More ironically, France will donate the retired Mirage 2005 S to Ukraine in 2023, but will need to spend an additional 400 million euros to modify the weapons interface to adapt to storm shadow missiles. While the RDI radar of these fighters will not have the range to detect the Russian S-400 air defense system, when facing the Russian S-400 air defense system, 400 air defense system, the detection distance is less than one-third of the Inimus radar, was ridiculed as, with a chopper on the missile battlefield. In contrast, India as early as 2004 to give up the Mirage upgrade plan, and instead of purchasing Russian-made Su-30 MKI, bluntly said that, the French offer, is enough to buy two Sidewinder. The retirement of the Mirage 2000C opens the door to an even bigger crisis for the French Air Force in the next decade. Although the Rafale is still competitive in Europe with its meteor missiles and partial stealth design, the technological generation gap is obvious. The American F-35 is an, a PG-81 radar has 1,676T R modules, while the Rafal Zan, a PG-81 radar has 1,676T R modules, while the Rafal Zan, a PG-81 radar has 1,676T R modules. The US F-35 AN, a PG-81 radar has 1,676T R modules. While the Rafales are BE-2AA has only 836, China's J-20s PL-15 missiles have a range of more than 200 kilometers, while the Meteor's maximum range is still stuck at 150 kilometers. More serious is that France's sixth-generation aircraft plan is still stuck in the PPT stage, with Germany and the West to jointly promote the future air combat system. Due to the dispute over technology dominance has reached a stalemate. The first flight of the prototype was delayed from 2027 to 2035, while the US GAD sixth-generation aircraft has entered the engineering verification stage. The French Ministry of Defense's 2024 report admits, if the variable cycle engine and artificial intelligence wingman technology cannot be solved before 2030, the European air warfare system will be reduced to a vassal of the Chinese and American systems. History is always full of the irony of reincarnation. When the wreckage of the Mirage 2000C was sent to the Air Museum in Le Bourget, the French Air Force is facing a similar decision as 40 years ago. Is it to continue to adhere to the pride of independent national defense and see the Rafale repeat the mistakes of the Mirage? Or do you want to join the F-35 global supply chain in exchange for a ticket to the future of air combat? The answer may have already been written in the Mirage 2000C's ending, in the age of stealth and over the horizon. Any arrogance and procrastination in the technological revolution will eventually pay the price. As Pierre Delon, 
former chief engineer of Dassault Aviation, sighed, we once thought that the Delta Wing would define the future, but we forgot that the future never waits.